Today in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to create some Spyro graphs in Illustrator CC. Super easy to do and all it takes is one button. So you can see I've just got this artboard here and we're just going to go to the left hand side and just start using our shapes. So a spiral graph is those things, you know, you see that the abstract geometric shapes, you can use them for branding, posters, anything really, and they look really professional if you do it correctly. So we're going to go on the left and go to our shapes. So if I right click on my ellipse tool there, you can see, you know, your rectangle tool, style tool, and all these. And we can actually just click any of these and use them. We're just going to use the ellipse tool. And to create this cool spiral graph effect, what we do is click and drag. And as we do that, we press the tilde key. So the tilde key is the button next to the number one and it looks like a little squiggly line. And as you do that, you just hold it and you can move your mouse around and the shape is going to create this cool spiral graph effect. And you can see that, that it's got some cool strokes and it looks a lot better when it's a stroke. If you select it and press shift X, it's going to make a feel and it looks pretty ugly, just looks like a normal shape. So you want to work with strokes, uh, which are, which is the better way. You can also, um, press the tilt as you press the tilde key, you can, instead of just, um, clicking and dragging, you can hold shift and it's going to restrict the proportions. So you can see if I hold shift, it just does, you know, 90 and 45 degree angles like that. So you can actually get a cool effect that way. And I'm just going to bump up the stroke here. And so you guys can see it better and you can get this really cool effect. Also with the lips tool as well, you can actually hold alt and it's going to do it from the center. So as you can see now, I'm going to get this cool effect just by holding alt and the tilde key, you can create another different effect instead of just doing it the other way, which is pretty handy. And you can use all these other shapes. You can use the star as well, just like that. You get these nice shapes, uh, which will look really awesome. You can even turn that into a triangle. So if you select this, drag the star, you press the up and down key to increase the sides. So if you press down, it'll become a triangle. And then you can just do the tilde key for that one, which I'll do that like that. And you can get these really cool effects. The cool thing about these spiral graphs is that you can just select them. You can change the thickness of the stroke in the top left corner here, or you can go to window and stroke to change that. And you can play around, you know, around the corners off, as you can see there, or increase the stroke. And you'll get different effects with the thinness of the stroke, as you can see here. You can also just change the color as well to get a nice effect, which is pretty awesome. Another cool thing as well is that you can go to your transparency panel by going window and transparency. And then you can play around with these blending modes and you'll get some nice effects here. So, you know, multiply, color burn, lighten, get a nice neon effect, screen, color dodge, even overlay. But you can see that the lines overlay on each other and you'll get these cool, you know, offset style effect with different colors and, and cool, you know, variations of it, which I like. So that's another cool trick as well when doing these spy graphs. So another, thing you can do as well is not only use the shapes, but you can use these grids over here. So you can use the arc tool, the spiral rectangular grid and the polar grid as well. So I'll show you if I do this, you can hold shift and do it like that. Or you can just, you know, select it and just the tilde key like that. And they're grids, so there, there might be a lot of lines. So be careful because it might lag a little if you do too many and add too many effects to it. So you want to just keep it subtle and use it minim minimally. So even the spiral key as well, which looks pretty trippy, but I love that tool. It's awesome. You get some nice waves going there and even the arc tool as well. And you know, you can hold shift and it'll keep the proportions once again, just like the shapes, you know, if you want to do that. So that's how you create some cool spiral graphs. It's a lot of fun. You know, the best thing to do is play around with it. You can pretty much use any, you know, shape um, tool and you'll get that cool effect and just play around experiment. You'll create some cool things. So that's how you create a spiral graph. Um, let me know in the comments of what tutorials you want to see in the future. Um, don't forget as well to subscribe for more content every week. And I hope you guys have a good day.